Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. Give me updates. But this is everyday's video. It's Saturday, so I do Cellar Saturday, where I pick, pick something off the cellar shelves, and I do a review of it. So this is 2015 Firestone Walker Parabola, and it's a uh, barrel-aged Imperial Stout. Um, I'll just read their tasting notes. Chocolate, charred oak, vanilla, black cherry, and coffee are just some of the complex aromas and flavors you will find in this beer. I'm okay with all of that. Um, I did do, as part of this series, actually, my, was it my first one that I ever did? Or was it Sukaba or however you pronounce it? I think it might have been this one. But anyway, I have done the uh, 2014 uh, I'm trying to do like oldest that I had uh, to newest, and so that's why this is the uh, 2015. Um, what to read about this? IBUs 82 for those who are interested. I'm more just looking for the ABV, which is 14% on the nose. Um, it's pretty darn dark in that bottle. I was trying to look for sediment or anything at the bottom, but I, I at least in the bottle, I can't see through enough to. Uh, to see any sediment. So time to review. I don't know. I, I forget when they bottle these. Whatever. Clean that up later. Um, let's just say five and a half years old. I don't know. It's 2021. This was bottled 2015. Five, five and a half, somewhere in there. Nice hiss. Has me hopeful. So as it's pouring out, there is, I don't want to say a decent amount of brown, but it's not motor oil. There is a decent amount of brown in there. Glass is clean, so that's nice. Uh, just under my index finger of head, uh, it's light mocha, but approaching like what I would, no, nah, it's light mocha for sure. Small bubbles, teeny tiny bubbles. Um... A little bit of legs, a little bit of lacing that's going away. The legs lasting longer than the lacing, which doesn't surprise me given the 14%. Uh, but yeah, it, it looks like I think Parabola does. Um, all said and told in the glass, yeah, it's pretty dark, but again, there is some brown in there, so not quite motor oil, but definitely dark. Looks good. Let's get to the aroma. Man, oh, that smells wonderful. You know what I think I'm getting hit with first? Well, definitely sweetness. But then, like, to, to actually break down the different things making up that sweetness, I'm getting caramel, I'm getting sweet coconut, and I'm getting vanilla. And if you watch the channel, you know I always want more vanilla. So the fact that I'm getting those three things in the aroma uh, is letting me know a few things. One, that uh, it has some of the things I'm looking for. Two, that's some barrel stuff. You know, like there is some chocolate and things also there. Don't get me wrong, but those are the first three things I get. So it's, I'm wondering how uh, barrel forward the taste will be because the aroma is definitely giving me things that are coming from the barrel. The chocolate's interesting. I, I'm, I'm probably getting a little bit more milk chocolate with oak is kind of like interwoven, which is interesting, but there is some dark chocolate as well. But yeah, that oak specific thing, very interesting. I'm loving this caramel note. I am all about that. Like it, it, it's, it's just dominating, but then maybe I shouldn't use the word dominating because that makes it sound like the other things aren't coming through, but the other things are coming through. So you get a little bit of that Rolos thing, but almost like if it was more of a caramel forward candy than the chocolate and the caramel. But again, it does have that nice chocolate. It's desserty but elevated. It's not overly in your face with the sweetness that you're thinking pastry style, but it does have those sweet elements, those candy bar elements, those dessert elements. I always feel obligated, like, I love pastry styles, so it's nothing against pastry styles, but like, you know what I mean, like elevated, more adult, whatever kind of disparaging thing that it sounds like, but it's that versus a pastry style, but it's scratching those itches, man. I'm all in. It's going to taste. Cheers. That has aged beautifully. 
I don't remember what I thought of this vintage fresh. Yeah, I mean, this is this is phenomenal. Um, like the aroma, I'm getting so much. The caramel, I do get some of that vanilla, which is nice. I get specifically the oak, which is, it, because there is sweetness to it, so that helps dry it out. There is chocolate. You're, you're getting the maybe more dark chocolate than the milk chocolate, so that switches from the aroma. Um, you're getting the, you know that roast from the stout. The most interesting thing that is different, besides the chocolate switch from the aroma to the taste, is I didn't get smoky, almost like light peatiness in the aroma. Definitely getting it on the taste. So like I was saying, the aroma, like this elevated, this classy adult, whatever kind of thing that makes you makes it sound like you're talking down to pastry stouts, it, how it has those desserty elements, but I think, Apparently, I'm really talking my hands today. I always do. Um, I really think that smoky peatiness, and again, not that it's an overly sweet beer, but that smoky peatiness, how well it's working with what is there, the sweet components, the base beer components, the barrel components, and I'm imagining this is somewhat roast from the stout, and also some of that peatiness could come from, you know, the, the uh, barrel. Man. It's just, it's cutting through something that's not, that I wouldn't have thought needed to be cut through. But then when it's happening, I'm like, oh, this is really, I'm appreciating this. Adding complexity, layers. It's not, because sometimes like you're enjoying the sip and then something comes in. Not even like a, the beer is off, but just a flavor like, ah, I wish kind of, I, I kept experiencing the thing I had been experiencing. Whereas this, it's welcomed, but also I could have experienced that the whole time. I've been happy too. So like when that kicks in, man, whew, what a beer. Man, that coconut hit me a little harder that time, best possible way. Interesting that this is 2015. That is having done a bunch of these vintages of the Bourbon Counties, although that was the infection year, the bottles I had, it's like my favorite vintage. So I don't know what you brewers were doing at your different breweries in 2015, well, 2014 into 2015, with these big stouts aged in barrels, because <laughs> both breweries knocked it out of the park, man. This is, I, I'm equal parts happy and loving how great this is drinking right now, and sad I'm drinking it right now because it's my last one, which I think tells you everything about how awesome this beer is, how awesomely it aged. I am... <laughs> tough day today I needed a win this is that I couldn't be happier thank you guys I could be happier if you guys commented below uh, and then check out Instagram and Untapped it's no hype beer views of both those places so always please like comment subscribe and most importantly imbibe cheers everyone